Five forty p. Gosh darn. <clears throat> yeah, it's outside Gingle. When I did my open water Here, too, let me try a version that can start I did it in Jenny Springs. Tell me what um, okay, uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're good. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from the nearest. Oh, the fuck! Did you see that? We lost the engine! Fuck! That's gorgeous. Man. Yeah, it is. And there's cave Man. systems. Man. Oh. Well, I, I drove, um, drove from North Carolina where I grew up, went to school. Um, then we did our open water, we did, got a dive cert in open water one uh, at school at East Carolina University. And then a bunch of us were like, oh, let's do open water two. And thought, All right, great. So we went down there for a weekend. Camped out at the campground, and it was like tropical weather. The thunderstorms in the I'm afternoon. I'm lost. And hers is awesome. The, the water was absolutely incredible. What's going on? Dive in. Oh, <clears throat> just dive about down into the like the main spring, and you can dive into this cave system and swim up to this gate that's locked it down at the bottom of it. So that you can get into it and dive in the cave without cave certs. Oh, really? And then you can because it's all so open and it's it's so you can't get lost. But then you go down to the, like the opening into the main cave system, which goes from uh, around the uh, uh, Gainesville, Florida area, and the cave system runs clear up into Georgia. There's a million gallons a day that comes out of this thing of crystal clear water. And you can swim up to the gate from the side and swim out into the front of the gate and grab hold of these metal bars. And the water is just forcing your mask off and you're like in this huge torrent of water coming out of this thing. It's absolutely incredible. Wow. <clears throat> that, that's the most incredible dive I've ever done. And that was your cert? Yeah, that was my open water, too. Oh, my gosh. Went out into the river outside of that place, and it's dark, nasty, black um, river water. And we did our search and rescue, the, the where you put the stake in the ground, you do the circle in, that kind of stuff. I haven't and done that, but, yeah, that sounds fun. It's on your way to dive master. But we did that, and then when we did... Went You're a master. This thing, I, I'm not, no. Oh, okay. But it was like open water, <laughs> level. Then you do something else, and then dive master. Or whatever the steps are. But it's the devil's, um... I think it's the devil's deer? Something like that. And you go out into this river, and it's like you're diving in a, a Coca-Cola. Oh, the, okay. You know, the water's the color of Coca-Cola. Very low visibility. Go along and then you go down into this hole in the bottom of a river. And you can look up 
and it's red above you because of the river water going over it, but it's crystal clear where you are. Just absolutely incredible. Gotcha. And, I mean, it's a dirt cheap camping trip. Well, I sent a couple of links of where I got started. It's not a nice <gasps> Holy crap! Yeah, they scared the Batman. Ah, it's dark and green! Why don't you watch my stream? And you'll see what I'm seeing. Oh, it's creepy. Right. I don't know if I can handle it. Arizona? Yep. No, not mm -hmm. Arizona. No, uh, I'm not in the top of Lake Pleasant. Gary Death Face guy. Yep. This is a sunken boat. Yep. We're, I dove in a um, quarry in Raleigh, North Carolina, and they had an uh, airplane at the bottom of it, and a boat at the bottom of it. It was like 200. <laughs> it was cold. Oh, yeah. Pleasant wasn't that uh, much better. Yeah, that's green. Yeah, it's ugly. That's where I started, though. Yeah, we did our open water one off of Wilmington, North Carolina. We went out and dove on a, um, a scuttled World War II boat of some kind. I don't know, it was some kind of ship that they blew up off the coast, created an artificial reef. So we had to go down. We weren't allowed to go in it, but we dove down to it. Yeah, it would be kind of cool. Imagine there's not too many sharks in Arizona. <clears throat> Only the pool type. Oh, yeah, I can be I mean, if you like diving, it was the most incredible dive I've ever seen. Not that I'm that experienced. Single player, it's not multiplayer. Take on it Mars is not single player. Isn't it's it? Multiplayer. No, it's multiplayer. Oh, I, I didn't know it was multiplayer. Yeah, Take on Mars um, looks interesting. <laughs> Holy crap. Like it just went on sale. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <clears throat> no one else wanted to play it with me. It looks interesting, but it definitely is multiplayer. 
the Elite Osiris. <laughs> I saw Devil Dog had a like uh, video on it last week. In Alpha, not everything works yet. Yeah, I'm not <clears throat> like the whole Alpha thing anymore. Yeah, twenty five bucks and oh, we need to forward. Yeah, <clears throat> they've got like the giant sandworms from Do Dune. Dune. Uh, like these crawly looking crab thingies. The gun Mars install. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy crap! That freaked me out. No kidding. Is it still down here? Nope. Where did it go? Everything's jammed. Only one man dare give me the raspberry. <clears throat> Where the heck do I go? I'm stuck in this hallway. see whoa let's see all that last uh. <laughs> no but this girl screaming did <gasps> It's gonna run through everything. Ah! Oh. I'll bleed you in the yard. Uh, 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 this makes it even better, to be honest. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the game to have, though, is Subnautica. I'm sorry. Subnautica, really? Yes. Especially if you're a diver. Oh, you're missing out. When that goes on sale, pick that up. <sighs> Um, <clears throat> if you're interested, go, go take a look at the page. It's super cool. I spent hours in this time. Yeah. <sighs> 
are you looking at, Subnautica? Bo? Yeah. That's pretty crazy. The thing to load. The thing to load? Yeah. Taking on Mars is downloading. Oh, take it for eight minutes. <laughs> This is my second go at it. Wish me luck. Good luck. Thanks. <coughs> Sorry for screaming your ears. I don't know what your problem is, but take on Mars just finished. Is it? Yeah. It's probably like five minutes worth of money. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> we had a 3.4 to the That's just Hello, Although it did download one point one eggs of fallout. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Ball four? Yep. Yeah. Ark survival needs an update, imagine that. <laughs> Turned off updates like four, five, six, eight months ago. It's still updating? It, it just <coughs> Oh it's huge. It fires up more fire. I don't care. I just installed it. Yeah, it Get back to the shrink. <laughs> oh, if you're not watching YouTube, visit an ADP. Download a little faster. It's probably pretty <laughs> accurate.
Yeah, it's pretty soon to get the um, the exile like little hood thing at the bottom working. Thank you. I tried to I tried to stifle that. <laughs> it was. I tried to stifle it. I'm like, oh crap, man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, where is it? Ah! Just grab me already! No, that's what she said. That'd be nice. That's what he said. But no problem. Oh. 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 <laughs> Story of my life. There it is. Right, that's done. Also, on to the next area. Yeah, that door shuts. She gets pulled up. This door opens. This guy stabs me. Attacks me. I'll bleed you in the yard! He chases me with a knife. With the corn maze. We do have corn maze. And there's a bunch of searchers as well looking for me as well. If I get caught, I die. I stabbed multiple times. That doesn't sound like a very interesting game. It's a horror game. It's built on specifically making you, you know, jump. It's all. It's all about like a this cult that's chasing you and all you have is a camcorder and night vision and you can't see like dark dark areas so you have to use your night vision camera for it it's unpredictable too the game is kind of kind of predictable but it's hard hard to figure out if it is predictable or not because <coughs> some things happen that don't happen but no I don't all right, shut Hi, the door. Mom. Hi, mom. This guy passes. If he the thing to do to Batman <coughs> is to uh, say good night, I love you when he's saying good night, I love you to his mom. <laughs> Best. <laughs> My wife just sent me an email from upstairs. Here's some info on one of our new clients, Machine Zone. You ever heard of him? No. All right, he's Machine gone. Machine Zone has built some something that has never been developed before, an MMO game that the whole world can play at the same time. Oh crap! He's oh now crap! Recruiting for uh, a <coughs> developer that does Game of War, Fire Age, and Mobile. <laughs> this is a phone game. Yeah. Essentially, the machine zone aims to organize cities the way it manages fantasy realms. Soon, entire cities will be networked in one real time environment, which will create a level of efficiency that the world has never seen. Yeah, I'm not so much sure. Yeah, but anyway, anybody who takes a bus knows that they should get 15. 30 minutes, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Yeah, they're aiming for people to fight, or to play their their game in local cities against Against what? Yeah. It'll be what? like local, uh, 
anybody who's taking the bus knows that you should get to the stop 15 to 30 minutes early. All of that is going to end. This initiative in New Zealand only consumes about 1% of machine zones capacity, he says. That means the technology is scalable and could be applied to more complex transportation like New York City. They're taking the app data from um, the MMO mm -hmm. and they are now going to apply that to uh, the transportation industry so that you can get like real time MMO data about your commute to work. That's okay. So, yes. You sign up for it. You know, talk to you to for it, right? Like a I drive um, public transport, you get in a car and drive. I drive myself. Yeah, but people in New York become public transport. Right. And people in New Zealand get a public transport. Right. So this is like scaling that MMO um, technology from the game and then real time updating your phone for transit updates. Where's your where's your train at? And can you make it now to be seven minutes for the next train? Right. And people will pay for that. Alright, I, I need to leave my house three minutes earlier to make the next transit to get to New Jersey fifteen minutes earlier because I got in the train that Late. got to the station that's correct. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that interesting concept. It is. Alright, let's this down What do you do on Take on Mars? You launch to Mars and then you try to survive there. Hey, play Take on? Play Take on Developer Mode or launch, Open Launch? I don't know. It's been a long time since I messed with it. Hopefully it's better than it was. I didn't play. I got taken on helicopters and it's kind of like interesting. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I'm a two. I'll, I'll go with interesting. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. I'll close arm up. Uh. I guess this is a demo. <laughs> <laughs> 